Guys, today we're gonna go over everything you need to know about getting rid of buffer bloat. What is buffer bloat? Buffer bloat is latency that can happen when you're downloading or uploading, causing lag spikes in game and a miserable online gaming experience. Luckily, Duma OS gives us all the tools we need to fix this problem. All right, so right under congestion control, we have three main settings. Always, which turns on your congestion control and leaves it on. Auto enable, which will automatically enable congestion control when traffic prioritization is being utilized. And you can tell that by the lights coming on, whether it's by the uh, pre-made things here or a device you've added yourself. When the lights are on, it will automatically enable the congestion control system. And never, which turns off congestion control completely and also puts your bandwidth back to 100%, even if your sliders are not. For setting everything up and doing our initial testing, we always want to use always, because always turns the system on. All right, so we have our setting always, and we wanna drag both of our sliders to 100%. Then we wanna come down here, click the download button, reset and update distribution. Same thing with the upload button, reset and update distribution. Scroll down even further and make sure no traffic prioritization is being utilized at the moment. Make sure all lights are out on the stuff that's already here or anything custom you may have added. I also recommend that you're not watching Netflix or downloading a game, any of those kind of things while you're doing this initial setup. All right, so if we take a look at my buffer bloat score using Waveform, which is a website that I'm sure most of you are familiar with, we can see that I landed a C. There's not a lot of active buffer bloat going on, but a little bit, and it's gonna cause an issue. Now, websites like Waveform or DSL reports are very helpful. Unfortunately, because they're out there on the internet, they're not 100% accurate. You can get some good results, but what you really wanna do is also use the built-in connection benchmark along with something like waveform to figure out exactly what the best setup for congestion control is going to be for your house. Now, one of the cool new things that's been put into Duma OS is auto setup. Not everybody has auto setup currently. If you don't, don't worry. It should show up in an upcoming firmware. Essentially auto setup will automatically look at your ping and your bandwidth and adjust both the download and upload based on your network taking away all the guesswork, or at least most of it. You may have to adjust a little bit here and there. Now, this is a great tool and I love using it. It works out quite well, but some people don't have it. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go about it ourselves. All right, so what we want is to get rid of that download buffer bloat. We're not gonna worry about upload buffer bloat. Talk more about that in a minute. So what we're gonna do is slowly but surely drag this slider down. Now you can see when I go from 100% to 99%, I go from 445 down to 440.6, right? So depending on your bandwidth number here, every bit of percentage that you go is going to be different compared to mine. It's gonna adjust the number differently, which means you can't copy me or anyone else out there, unfortunately. So slowly drag it down. We can start with 99. If we don't have a lot of buffer bloat, maybe that'll work out great. Maybe not so much. What we wanna do is we wanna keep adjusting this a couple percent at a time. While we're doing that, we're going to run tests using waveform and our connection benchmark built into Duma OS. This is a bit time consuming. I understand, but you're gonna to wanna to test both, see where they land, and then keep slowly adjusting just the download until you reach a point where you're not losing a lot of bandwidth or all of your bandwidth, but your ping is now stable. And you could see that by the buffer bloat score increasing from like a C or a D to an A or an A plus, and this download active being under five. Same thing with upload active, but we're not worried about upload whatsoever. Now you would think, 
wait a second, hold on. You're telling me I want buffer bloat on my upload side? Eh, yeah, For, yes, uh, unfortunately. I know, it sounds completely counterintuitive. Wouldn't that cause issues? Wouldn't that cause shoot first, die first moments? Ah, there has been a lot of discussion about that over the years. And through many iterations of Duma OS, a few different Duma OS routers and other router brands, I have noticed a trend. Every single time I have ever adjusted for upload buffer bloat and tried to defeat the very little bit of buffer bloat that I have on my upload side, games feel great for a little bit and then they won't. So I adjust. Everything says A+. I got a low bluffer bloat score. Everything's good, right? We're playing, everything's smooth as butter. I shut it down, I come back the next day, I look at my score, everything says it's still good. I got my A+, my buffer bloat is nice and low. I go and play, and all of a sudden, with an SMG at close range, right in the chest, I'm getting hit markers. What? What is going on here? Put it back to 100%, play a little bit longer, oh, it's gone again. This has happened for years now, whether it's Call of Duty or one of my other favorite games, Killer Instinct, which I am very familiar with. Adjusting for upload buffer bloat causes more issue. Really, just adjust for the download and that's going to help your ping and your game play smoother. So you can see that I've moved my slider from 100% which is at 445 down to 95%, which is 422, leaving a little bit of bandwidth on the table, right? I've lost some there. It's gone because of that percentage. However, if I now do a buffer bloat test, we are at these nice low results getting check marks across the board. Now, you may not get the low latency gaming check mark. This is just gonna depend on where you live, who your ISP is, that kind of stuff. But if you can get the vast majority of the other ones to show up and this download nice and low, even if your upload says it's a million, it isn't going to matter. Trust me on this. You will have a better experience if you just adjust for download. So you've done all that. You got it all set up. The last thing you need to do is go ahead and put it back on auto enable. Sure, you could leave it on always. And if you're only adjusting a percent or two, maybe you wanna do that. But auto enable will automatically enable when a game is on, so you don't lose that little bit of bandwidth. Let's say you're watching Netflix, got some other stuff going, downloading some games. Well then, this isn't gonna be on, in which case you're getting your full bandwidth and you're not gonna see any weirdness in your network. And then the system comes on when you're gaming, lowers your bandwidth a little bit, things in your network adjust accordingly, depending on your bandwidth, and then your online gaming experience ends up being smoother. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, that kind of stuff, leave them in the comments section down below. And until the next time, as always, take it easy.